Okay, I'm going to go over the basic construction of the quadcopter I have here. This is a quadcopter HAL. Heavy lift, 550 copter I got from um, Hobby King. And um, I basically got everything on this from Hobby King except for the transmitter. I'm using uh, an old Futaba 7C uh, transmitter which works great for that with uh, the transmitter. The controller board that I'm using I also got from Hobby King. It is the uh, Hobby King KK uh, LCD. Um, controller board which works great. It's really easy to program, really easy to set up. See I got my receiver there, all the uh, receiver wires, the four main channels and then the auxiliary plugs in to five and then we got the outputs for each ESC coming out on the other side of the board. And I actually started off with Turnigy um, ESCs but those all blew in a very short period of time so I had to go to my local hobby shop and get 30 amp ESC's that would work. The motors also came from Hobby King and these are 2826 so zoom in there 2826 Uh, motors from Hobby Kane. These are 1200 kV, I believe. Um, the props I got from Hobby Kane weren't really that great, so I upgraded these to these are um, 8 by 4.5 props, which work really great. Um, in the front there, you can see I've got the camera mount. I actually changed the camera mount. It actually came up with a three channel camera mount. I actually just reduced it down just to one channel. All I really needed was to be able to go up and down. So you can see this can point down pretty well. The controls all that channel. And um, it goes like that. You can see I just have it controlled on this one channel on my radio here. And that works really good. Don't really need the, uh, the panning. Can, uh, angle because you can just turn the helicopter itself. It has a pretty re robust servo connection. Keeps it nice and smooth. Uh, comes with this rail system. Gets it nice and forward and gets uh, the camera view out of the view of the propellers. It works pretty good. And that's pretty much the setup. It's pretty easy to get to get it flying basically it's in the uh, safe mode right now and as you just hold the controller down to the bottom uh, right hand rudder and it goes from to armed just like that and to turn it off the armed back on the safe you just go back in the back corner and now it goes back to safe again back to armed boom just like that the cool extra feature that I put on here is uh, I found a way to wire in the voltage uh, right onto the board. So right, you can see where it says right now, it says 11 point. I just finished flying so the, the voltage is down. But basically this wire right here, um, where is it right now? No, that goes to the, the beeper. There is a wire that actually plugs in here to my power panel that goes, wires underneath the controller board which feeds the uh, voltage into it. As you can see there, I've got the power distribution panel that comes from Hobby King. 
Um, that worked out really good for making a nice fast connections to my controllers, easy change out USB controllers if I need to. Um, and it worked great. Um, easy change out of batteries. And that's the quadcopter.